You want to talk about meditation a little bit? Have we whetted your appetite for it enough that you'd like to talk about what it is and how to do it? All right with you? So as you well know now, you understand so much about it just from what we've been talking about. But the whole point of it is to quiet your mind, which means stop thinking. But that's asking a lot because there are already thoughts that are active and law of attraction is already responding to the active thoughts. So when we say, don't think about that, you're thinking about that thing that you're trying not to think about because it's active. It's just the way that it works. So it is helpful to find a thought that isn't a very big thought, a thought like maybe a sound. Esther usually can find a sound in whatever room she's in. Usually there's a fan or there's something off in the distance or the condenser in the air conditioner. And if you don't have a sound, maybe you want to turn a fan on, or maybe you want to turn the fan on in the bathroom or something that projects enough of a sound that you can hear it. Or if you don't want to listen for your focus, if you rather look for your focus, then watch a dripping faucet or watch the minute hand on the clock or watch the flicker of a flame. In other words, something that doesn't take you into a lot of thought. So you can listen for it or watch for it. We really think it's better if you close your eyes because when you close your eyes, you're less aware of your surroundings and the less aware you are of most of your surroundings, then the better off you are because there are triggers everywhere that will activate thoughts. And the whole point of meditation is to deactivate thought because why we would like to teach you to have pure positive thought is far easier to teach you to have no thought far easier to teach you to have no thought, but it's not logical for you to be awake and have no thought. You really require something to focus upon. 